Hello and welcome to Elena Ascension Network. I am Elena and I am honored to be your light friend eternally. Through inspired meditations and channelings from the cosmic overlord Jade Fire and other divine masters of white light, let us proceed together on our spiritual journey as lovers of Gaia and beings of divine light. I invite you to visit our sacred space of learning and oneness www.jadefirelight.com slash blog to read and hear discourses that provide self-empowering divine wisdom. From my soul to yours, in love light and faith divine, I am Elena Jade Fire. Greetings from light. Greetings. Greetings. Did you know that Christ consciousness is an energy that is prevalent? and can be accessed only on Earth. Christ is also an energy entity only on Earth. In the cosmos, that entity is not known as the Christ at all. That light signature, it would be more correct to say, is not known as the Christ at all. And that is why there are those who channel that energy who call that energy Sananda. Do you understand now? The physicality of that light signature was called Yezu. So you are blessed for in the entire cosmos you are the only ones to enjoy the experience of Christ consciousness. Only in the human realm can personal energies transform, transmute into Christed energies. Only in the human realm. So why are we telling you this? So that you enjoy your time on earth. Enjoy your time on earth. You rail and rant about duality and polarities. You often resist the challenges of the human experience. But we are here to ask you to 
enjoy this experience enjoy make it into joy experiences on earth you already know are extremely intense they are profound whether it be a happy experience or a not happy experience they are profound and out of each such profound experience whether or not you are spiritually inclined there is a growth there is an understanding there is an evolution there is a clarity you might be further surprised to know that non human entities in the cosmos envy you wow <laughs> i love that their experiences do not come out of duality all our experiences are in a sense singular and the rest of the non human cosmos is awaiting its turn to experience this human challenge of duality again you shall ask but why why no other life stream no other energy stream makes as rapid a growth has potential to make as rapid a growth as the human realm the reason lies in duality from the rest of the cosmic perspective creation what you call manifestation has no challenge we will it and it is we will it and it is the cosmic meaningfulness the profound meaningfulness of creation that comes out of challenge is missing so here you are blessed you too waited your turn and here you are this duality and we have repeated this is most essential each time you strive to create each time you strive to fulfill a desire see the challenges that you put before you first come the physical challenges 
the inner doubt the lack of clarity the lack of faith in yourself sometimes you do not believe that you deserve it so you have to overcome personal challenges first and then you have the challenges on the outside the resistance of others who refuse to understand you their lack of faith in yourself in your abilities what is even more challenging their lack of complete interest in what you desire <laughs> and when you have overcome that challenge then there is the challenge of actual creation out of sometimes nothing and then when it is attained the joy that you experience cannot be described and from that challenge and from that attainment and from that joy comes growth a growth in your ability to recognize your own powers but not all creation is successful very often it meets with failure and disappointment and even in that is your growth for you begin to question why did it fail for all those of you who may have ever done bungee jumping <laughs> para gliding or even merely sat upon a roller coaster ride yes yes i know you are deep within you even as you begin to embark on this adventure deep within you at that subconscious level is a knowing that the rope might snap the parachute might not open the roller coaster might topple as has happened and you have heard and so as you experience the thrill of adventure you also experience the thrill of fear and when you land back on to firm ground alive and whole you want to do it again all over again yes right there even though your stomach churns when you are up there that is metaphorically your earth adventure for as you choose and in a sense wait in line for your turn to come even in the waiting there is a thrill for you know that soon you shall be on that ride on that dive free falling <laughs> without any control
and it is this that brings about the human need to control for the first time that you step on to the roller coaster of the human adventure you know that you have given up control that now that roller coaster shall take you as it shall and all you can do is scream exactly. <laughs> either in great delight or in great terror so your inherent need to control comes from that energy that is still within you for it cannot be destroyed you are what you were you are just now what you were and what you are now another need is the need to know the human mind has a need to know and then whether it is spiritual knowing or medical knowing or scientific knowing or historical knowing or mathematical knowing or artistic or music there is the need to know because along with the control when you step on to the roller coaster you give up knowingness of all that is you have to leave it behind the roller coaster cannot take the weight of that when you go on your roller coasters you are told leave your bags behind <laughs> ignorance is vital for duality to be and so that eternal question who am i comes from that ignorance you know who you are but till this roller coaster ride is over you cannot access that bag of knowledge and just as you cannot get off the roller coaster till it has finished its ride you cannot get off the human adventure and in this roller coaster ride just as the roller coaster goes up and down and sometimes a loop and sometimes another loop and all these seem as separate parts of the roller coaster but they are one you feel you have had different lifetimes and some of them have been smooth and some you have taken a nose dive and in others you have climbed up high and sometimes as many are feeling these days you feel you are in a loop where you just keep going round and round at a rather giddy pace but this ignorance is vital 
ignorance can be called the opposite of godness 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 is omnipotent omniscient ignorance is neither but out of this ignorance when you finish the ride and you get off the roller coaster you are not what you were when you started the ride and having screamed all the way through you often want to stand back into the line instantly and say i need another one but when you were in that car that was swerving crazily you vowed never, to never again and that vow disappeared as soon as you got off and the thrill of adventure pushed you back on what comes out of ignorance pain comes out of ignorance fear comes out of ignorance where there is pain and where there is fear there is the need to take control where there is the need to take control there shall always be abuse of personal power there shall be subjugation and slavery and then from that comes war and conflict and of course disease shall follow and yet we tell you that ignorance is essential and significant for each time you have been in pain and that heart has wept you have turned to 10 others and given them your love your solace your gentleness and each time you have fought and been in conflict you have turned to 10 others and clarified their minds and express to them the universal truths that you know so that their conflict disappears and each time you have felt a disease an illness an ailment you have turned around and helped to heal so many others now when you see it do you still condemn that ignorance still no. about aim has to be to overcome the ignorance we shall come there the aim is not to overcome the ignorance the aim of the human adventure is not for good to overcome the evil for right to overcome the wrong for light to overcome darkness that is not the purpose at all 
The purpose is Christ consciousness. In the human realm, out of the human experience is generated an energy experienced nowhere else in the cosmos. Experienced nowhere else in the cosmos and that energy is the energy of Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness is an energy that emanates from layer upon layer upon layer of duality. If there were no duality, there was no Christ consciousness. Where there is no polarity, there is no Christ consciousness. What exactly is Christ consciousness? Christ consciousness is that energy, is that state of consciousness whereby you do not overcome duality, but you integrate it into your life. The light, the dark, the right, the wrong, the good, the bad are all integrated into your living existence without any resistance, without any need to control and abuse your will over another. You have often spoken about reaching Christ consciousness as though it were an energy out there that you are trying to access and we tell you it is not. You are creating Christ consciousness. Slowly as the layers of ignorance are giving way to understanding of truth, if not yet the conscious realization of it. You are creating Christ consciousness. Each time you see a situation that you might have earlier called evil, but are now able to see it as a cosmic event most needed for reasons known or unknown, you are creating Christ consciousness. It is that energy which expands you and in your expanse you take in the good and what you have called the evil. You take in the light and what you have called the darkness. Christ consciousness is not a pendulum swing from one to the other. It is integrating both. In order to get off the human ride, you have to create enough Christ consciousness energy that shall help you get off. Till then, the bar shall remain closed. The time of this round of the roller coaster is coming to an end. The time for this round of the roller coaster is coming to an end. You might decide to take another ride. But the time has come for this ride to come to an end. What do we mean by this?
your cycle is now coming to an end. The cycle of the human adventure for a majority on this earth at this point in the now is coming to an end. We do not mean the earth is going to fragment as doomsday prophets have been saying for years. It means that your Christ consciousness energies now are fast reaching that quantum where this bar will open. And once again, you shall be in knowingness. For when the ride is over, There's ignorance no is taken away and your knowingness is returned to you. So your personal cycles, some choose to call these karmic cycles, are coming to an end. And this is what we have meant when we have said that 2014 is the year of transformation. Along with the karmic cycles coming to an end, whereby there shall be no, in your terms, rebirth. For a large number, the cycle of Earth herself is in transformation. So you have the Earth cycle transforming we have spoken of this earlier into becoming a sacred planet. And your cycles coming to an end from human consciousness to Christ consciousness that you are creating. Join together. Overlap each other. As the Earth's cycle of non-sacredness comes more and more rapidly to its end, no more, and hear us well, no more shall the Earth be able to accommodate abuse. she can then draw to herself only energies that are like her own for she is moving out of duality herself. What happens to those others? Not to question. They have their journeys. No one is not looked after and no one is judged or condemned. The cosmos looks after all. Those whose journeys are coming to an end and those who still have some more to complete. And that is the truth. They have more of their journey to complete. Do you honestly believe that you were always what you are now? You have had lifetimes of political abuse. You have had lifetimes of crime. 
misusing your power. You have had lifetimes of acute poverty. You have had lifetimes of horrific deaths. But you have also had lifetimes of spiritual teachers, of doctors who did good to hundreds, to those who were so rich and gave out their money for the good of all. You have had all these lifetimes for the roller coaster goes up and down. All of these human experiences lie in your structure. Some assimilated and some not assimilated. Christ consciousness energy is created each time you assimilate more. When in living existence, living in the lap of duality, you can still see the need for each polarity. Not only do you stop judging it, but you see the need for it. Dark is vital. If there were no dark, there would be no recognition of light. Dark is vital. Poverty is vital. Pain is vital. Ignorance is vital. They support each other. When in human experience, you can see the polarities supporting each other in a cosmic balance that is forever constant, then that is the peak of Christ consciousness. So basically what I'm getting, I mean, feeling is Christ consciousness is for us to actually recognize this oneness. So from moving from separation to oneness. In the human experience, beloved, oneness as experienced by the non-human realms cannot be. But the good and the bad and the dark and the light. What can be the experience of oneness or unity in the human realm is the ability to see the light and the dark, the good and the not good, That's right. and recognize the truth of why they are. When you said our cycle is coming to an end, it just means that now we'll all be like ascended souls and we'll just continue to live in a more... Oh no, that is not what we meant. Will we be exiting the planet? No, oh, you no. shall exit your planet only at the time you choose. But you shall not reappear. It is now your time to leave the roller coaster and allow those who have been waiting in line to enter. Your experiences are coming to an end. And if you commit to making this choice firmly, 
then you shall commit to creating Christ consciousness each day. The bar will not open. If you have not <coughs> created within yourself, not for another, within yourself, if you have not created enough Christ consciousness energy. So how do we do it every day? Just, the, uh, just to affirm it? Or, or not at all. Yeah. You have to live it. You have to embrace the duality. Integrate it in your daily life. When we say integrate, there can be no judgment or condemnation. For what has been integrated cannot be condemned. Do you condemn your back for giving you hurt? No. No. But it is still giving you pain and discomfort, but you are not condemning your back because it is integrated into you. Does this make sense? Yes. Greater and greater integration. Welcome the challenges. Defy yourself. Have fun. What is missing in the human experience today is the screaming delight of the child on a roller coaster. delight and that screaming delight beloveds we call bliss and it is to experience this bliss that the cosmos is standing in a line <laughs> do you understand that line that is forming Waiting, come on, get off, don't be selfish, you have finished your ride. <laughs> now it is our turn. And just as a roller coaster, when it is coming to its end, seems to go into greater loops and more dives, so does the human adventure. There is a cosmic plan. And when we speak of cosmic plans, let us remind you there is no cosmic plan that can override your personal plan for self. Your blueprint cannot even for a microsecond be wiped clean because it might interfere with the cosmic plan. The cosmic plan is creation of Christ consciousness. And again we ask you, now do you understand how blessed you are? Integrate all experiences. Deny nothing. 
for in the largest perspective, where even the cosmos stops to exist in its minute differences, there is nothing to deny. Be blessed.